Hey guys, it's by Screenside, and today I am back with a very special build video today. Um, today's video is a collaboration with Amber Jet. She is a really cool YouTuber uh, who does The Sims and a little bit of sk city, <laughs> city Skylines. And she reached out to me a little while ago and asked me about doing a collaboration. And I checked out her channel and I thought her builds were really cool and I enjoyed her commentary. And so I was like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's collaborate. Um, so we kind of like talked back and forth about what we wanted to do or like whether to do like a create a sim or a build video. And eventually we kind of came upon this idea to do um, townhouses that were uh, themed sugar and spice. And so my half is the spice townhouse. So you will have to go over to her channel and check out the Sugar Townhouse. That will be her half. You're only going to see my part of the video. And so I, as you can see, I've marked off the lot at the halfway point and I started off the, uh, the build project. So I haven't even really had the opportunity to see her part. I've seen the front of the exterior and it looks pretty cool. So um, I'm excited to see the interior myself. I haven't seen it as of recording this video just yet. So I think it's going to be awesome. From the looks of it, it is. So I'm going to link in the description below uh, how to get to her channel so that you can see her upload should be going out at the same time as mine. So it should be available for you to watch at your leisure. So yeah. Um, <laughs> what was funny because it was just kind of came to me to do the idea of sugar and spice. I thought that would be really cute. And so I gave her the, the you know, the deciding vote. Did she want to be sugar or spice? <clears throat> and so she picked sugar. And to be perfectly honest, I kind of wanted sugar. But I'm glad that I got spice ultimately. Because I, I tend to do a lot of, or like tend toward a lot of like lighter colors and pastels. And so... It gives me it gave me the opportunity to use some color schemes that I might not normally do. It comes out very autumn uh, color scheme because you know spices are generally brown and rich reds or yellows like uh, turmeric and you know a little bit, little bit of greens here and there. But that's mostly the color scheme. It's a very like sort of fall color scheme. I did do some white trims and stuff just because. In terms of the options of like fencing and columns and stair railings and everything, that we do have a lot of brown options, but they don't all match very well. So <clears throat> I did do a little, there's a little shake of sugar in the exterior just because um, I the white, the, the, they all match together better than all the different browns. So you can see uh, here I am testing out different uh, brown trims and, and fences and things, but I ultimately decided to do it in white uh, because, yeah, like they just it just matched better that way. So yeah, I've been quite absent this week. Those of you who saw my last build video will know that I um, was under the weather, and I'm just now getting to the point where I can complete a sentence without coughing, uh, <laughs> without choking and dying. So that's, that's good news. Um, it wasn't like a really bad sick though. Like usually, it, you know, there'll be all like the coughing and sneezing and, you know, things that go along with being sick. And plus on top of that, there's just like this general, like, uh, kill me, like kind of horrible feeling. At least that's how I am when I'm, when I get sick. I, I'm kind of a baby when I get sick. This time it was just all the symptoms, but not really feeling like just that overall, like really feeling bad, which is, I'm not complaining, but it is weird. It's just, it's weird. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. Um, so it wasn't entirely unpleasant. Well, I mean, it was unpleasant. It's not pleasant being sick, but it, it could have been a lot worse. It's just that I really couldn't manage to record because talking too much would make me my throat get all scratchy and coffee and 
it's just, you know, it just wasn't any good. So yeah, <clears throat> the last video, <laughs> I still have a bit of it. The last video I recorded, like, and I was like, I was just at the beginning of getting sick and I was trying to get in a lot of recordings, um, all at once. And I just passed out <laughs> that day. Like, I think, I want to say I did that recording and uploaded the video or set the video to be uploaded, started working on this build, finished this build, and then I just passed out on the couch <laughs> and fell asleep. And um, definitely didn't snore, though, because I don't do that. Um which is a lie. <laughs> I d okay, I don't want you guys going around telling everybody that I snore, uh, but <laughs> I do when I'm sick. It's it's a thing that I do when I'm sick, and like that my boyfriend just gleefully loves to point out, like, yeah, I came in and you were snoring. I'm like, well, I wasn't snoring. I don't snore. I'm a delicate flower. That doesn't happen, but it totally does. Um, when I'm sick, when I'm sick, I will admit to it when I'm sick. When I'm well, um, yeah, that never happens. I'm positive of this. That may be untrue, but <laughs> no, seriously. Okay, I'm I'm being goofy and I'm not being clear. But anyway, <laughs> I'm a little bit kind of slap happy, and I am feeling actually a little bit. Sp I've had a day where I've I was in kind of a a grumpy mood, so I think it was actually really appropriate that I'm doing spice because I was feeling a little bit spicy all day. I don't know what was up with me. But, you know, recording does help that a little bit, somewhat. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, I was I was really happy to land the spice theme. And, because, um, you know, I like spicy things. I do like spicy food. That's going to be the topic of conversation for the comments today. Do you like spicy food? And if so, like, how spicy? Because I will, I'll eat something, like, relatively, like, like, you know, jalapenos, like, if it's, like, stuff with jalapenos in them or whatever. Um, but I don't go, like, crazy. I don't eat things that are, like, you know, it's a, it's a Madagascar sun demon pepper. Like, no, I don't, like, <laughs> I don't go, like, eat the, the things that are, like, absolutely crazy, like, supposed to be the hottest pepper in the world kind of stuff. Um, I do know people who like to eat spicy foods like that, but I just, I feel like... I shouldn't worry about whether or not I'm bleeding internally in my stomach after I eat. Um, <laughs> like that's just a personal preference. Um, but yeah, no, like so I, 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 I don't go crazy with the spicy food, but I do like spicy food. It's kind of weird because my, I like my mom never made spicy food when I was growing. Like really, I don't know. I don't think my mom is very much into spicy food, so I wasn't raised on very spicy foods and you know my mom was that kind of mom that was you know you eat what she makes <laughs> like you know whether you like it or not you know, what <laughs> and it was really funny actually because when I started hanging out with the person who is and for years has been my best friend um, like I remember going over to her house the first time and her mom had made something to eat and she was like, I don't want that. I want chicken and dumplings. And her mom was like, okay, I'll make that. And I just remember being like, what? Your mom makes whatever you want to eat for like, what is that? I don't know this thing, uh, this crazy talk of which you speak, <laughs> but yeah, no. So is your mom like that type? Because my mom was definitely like, hey, you'll eat what I give you or you can figure it out. Like you can make yourself a sandwich or something. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. So like, oh, so story time. <laughs> Speaking of my friend's mom, I learned something absolutely crazy recently. And it's been kind of like blowing my mind a little bit. So, um... <laughs> Because I, I don't have a whole ton of stuff to say about, like, how I decorated this place. I mean, I'll, I'll point out anything particularly, like, you know, a notable. But, I mean, mainly I just really focused on that particular color scheme, uh, or the spicy kind of color scheme as I was putting together this house. And actually, I will say that it turned out quite a bit larger than what I really had anticipated because this is only like a 20 by 30 lot 
and but I wanted to make it tall because tall townhouses are generally quite tall and thin and so <clears throat> that's why I, and I did the the entryway on the second floor because I think it gives it that sort of like San Francisco townhouse feel about it and then you know there's a driveway which I think at the very end you'll see me add in a a uh, car, a toy car that I sized up to make it look like there's a car in the driveway. But yeah, so here's the story that I want to tell you guys. This absolutely blew my mind this week. So my mom, or my mom, my my best friend, she has, she was upset this week because her mom had kind of, yeah, how do I say this? Del like she told a secret of my be of my friends that um, she didn't necessarily want shared. So she was she was upset that her mom had like spilled the beans on on some information that she kind of wanted to keep under wraps. And so in her <laughs> just sort of just being upset, she told me that <clears throat> like okay, no wait, no, back up. Sorry. <laughs> no, I got to tell it this this other way. And now I've given away, like, what's probably going to be the ending of this, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> when um, my best friend turned 16, which has been uh, a while ago now, but when she turned 16, our, our mutual friend and I, uh, we threw a surprise party for her. And we really, like, put all our heart and soul into throwing the surprise party and making, like, a genuinely awesome party and keeping it a secret and we spent like a couple of weeks like coordinating it and making sure that like all her friends could be there and like we she went to a different high school than so it was my best friend and then our other best friend Nancy Nancy and I went to the same high school but my best friend um she is she, like she went to a different high school than us so we had to like kind of make sure that we could get in touch with um you know her friends from that school and get them to the party and then you know we planned everything out like the presence and the timing and how we were going to get her there how we we're going to keep it a surprise and <clears throat> one of the of course things that we had to do was tell her parents that way they wouldn't also plan a party on that day or you know like if you're gonna ground her just wait just wait one day please <laughs> like just just keep this day open and keep this day free all right and so I even like photoshopped this this picture of her face and made this like crazy thing that we got printed up on a cake so like <laughs> this it was like her face in space because she was like really into space not like in a like I want to go to space camp kind of way but just like like I really think pictures of space are pretty kind of way you know what I mean like <laughs> anyway <laughs> I tell stories like so well um but yeah no I made her this this really cool photoshopped thing and we put it on the cake and we just went all out even so we went as far as we had to have all the guests like we we got there that night and then it hit me I was like She's going to see all these cars. She's going to know if something's up whenever we pull up. Because the plan was, Nancy was going to say that they were going to go to a movie. And then she was going to be like, but I need to stop by my house first. So that, um, yeah, so that I can, like, I got to get some, I got to change my clothes or something. I don't know what her excuse was. But just, like, we got to stop by the house real quick before the movie. And basically, she, you know, she was going to bring her in, and we'd all be waiting there like, yay, surprise, you know, how surprise parties work. So, um, yeah, so we're there, we're all getting ready and planning for the fact that she's going to show up, and then I'm like, oh man, she's going to see all our cars and know something's going on. So then we had to all, like, move our cars, and this is in February, by the way, so it's cold outside, and because her birthday is actually on leap day interestingly but <laughs> so there are all these cars and I'm like so we had to all get like our <laughs> like move our cars like blocks away and then like walk back and shuttle each other back and forth you know so we hid the cars you know we went through all this trouble and 
like she she seemed really really surprised like you know she showed up we all jumped out surprise it seemed to go off without a hitch like I had this picture of her that somebody had taken at like the moment like everybody jumped out and said surprise and I can still remember the picture I don't, I don't know where it is or else I'd like put it in the video or something but <laughs> like clear like she was like her face was all red and she had her like her hands covering her mouth like oh my gosh I'm so surprised you know but so <laughs> just the other day she, because she's upset over this situation she's like oh and by the way I knew about my surprise party so this is like a little over like a little over a decade ago that we threw this party and all these years I thought man we really pulled off that surprise party I really we really surprised her and I just found out like you know just now found out that she knew about it the whole time and my mind is blown I, my my whole world is shattered I I really believed all that time that she genuinely was surprised that she had no idea and uh, I found out she knew and it was because like her mom spilled the beans <sniffs> yeah yeah can you believe that <laughs> I'm not really upset about it I'm just I just surprised like now it uh, jokes on me <laughs> it just hit me I've tried to throw a surprise party and now years later I'm the one that's surprised because uh, I completely thought she had no idea like you I if somebody had tried to other than her if somebody other than her had tried to tell me that she wasn't actually surprised I would have been like ah you don't know anything she was surprised she was yeah but anyway that's my story of the day ah <laughs> <sighs> yeah I'm really trying to as much as possible and I, I I feel like I think I sound rushed because I'm trying as hard as I can to get this commentary basically all in one go because usually I kind of have to like stop and gather my thoughts and I don't I it's just tough for me sometimes so I'm, I'm trying to keep it all focused um, I gotta say I really um, you know not to toot my own horn but I really like this kitchen. I think it has something. I don't know. Um, these I used the windows from the Get to Work expansion pack, and I don't regularly use these windows. And I did this those uh like sort of almost floor to ceiling windows with that like sort of middle height panel on them, and for that little cutout that goes just above like the backyard area. And I think it looks really cool with the, you know, the counter, or, uh, yeah, the counters around it. Um, and it, it doesn't look bad from the outside, because usually if you put a countertop against a, you know, a, a floor-to-ceiling window, it's going to kind of like show the back of the counter, which doesn't necessarily bother me, but I really like that that particular window has a panel up to about counter height so even from the outside it doesn't really you don't just look in and see the backs of uh, countertops and the back of the um, the stove and everything so I, I just I really like the way that this uh, the bathroom turns out or not the bathroom wow the kitchen <sighs> and cut anyway um, this house actually the sims that are living in this house in my build world because if, if you caught my current household update you'll know that the current household I'm playing is also in my build world and so the sims that lived on this lot from where I've like shuffled sims around and moved things moved them around to like play test and stuff because I have a, like a few set of sims that I just use for play testing and then so I had moved uh, Bob and Eliza out of the their lot to build something else and then I wound up in my gameplay having one of the sisters in my household had a set of twins with Bob pancakes and <laughs> so if you haven't seen my 3k thank you video which oh yeah by the way I did um, do the giveaway today and the winner of that was Lime, who uh, got the decided to get the Vampires game pack. Um, 
which <laughs> I was like, good choice, good choice. Vampires are super fun. I really don't regret getting that game pack at all. So, yes, in case you were curious, if you didn't see the comment or you didn't see my tweet, um, Lime was the winner of the game pack, and I will be uh, doing a stuff pack giveaway in not terribly long from now, so keep watching my videos and I'll let you know. That's This time I gave everybody two weeks, the next time it's going to be like a, you know, it's going to be like a quicker, much quicker thing. <laughs> It was great to have everybody have the opportunity to enter, but I really had a lot of names to uh, put down, and I just put everybody's name into like a like a name. I found like a random name picker website, and so it's just like list all the names, and you know it would pick a random one, and that's how I wound up doing it because I wasn't about to write down all those names and put them in a hat because it wound up being quite a few. Um, but yeah, I was really excited. It's so funny when I do that because like um, every, every as I was going through putting down everybody's name I was like oh that's such a nice comment oh I hope you win oh look at that oh they always they're so nice I love I love them I hope they win <laughs> every single name oh I hope they win <laughs> and I didn't have to you know I didn't have the burden of having to decide so I got to hope that everybody won but yeah anyway <laughs> I will um, I will be doing another one soon so uh, you know, make sure that you uh, look out for that. I don't know when. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. But I do know it's not going to be as long as a, of a contest the next time. It's going to be kind of like a quick all-in-one-day kind of a thing. But, yeah. Um, so, the uh, upstairs bed, or the upstairs sort of seating area, I didn't get the, um, I didn't film the building of that. And as per usual, I just have to cut down um, my videos for, for for time, so they're not outrageously long. This build actually didn't take me too terribly long, though. For me, I want to say it was something like three and a half to four hours, which for me can actually be like quite quick, <laughs> sort of. I don't know, like eh, eh, maybe average, but still. Um, yeah, it, I still feel like it came together fairly quickly for me this time. I don't know, but it seemed to. So the landing um, on the third floor, the I say landing because that's just like what I kind of, just the kind of general common area like where the Sims can walk out onto the balcony that you saw me build earlier. Um, there's a, a piano, there's a grand piano up there, and it's just kind of like a nice little seating area that you'll see in the screenshots later. <clears throat> this room that I'm building is a toddler room and right next to it, you saw me build a little bit earlier when I was talking about something else, um, uh, the bedroom, I put the headboard of the bed into the bookcase and <clears throat> I don't, I don't actually, I'm not 100% sure whether or not I play tested that or not. I did play test this house, but I I really am not confident as to whether or not I did get that or not. But this this main floor, this bottom floor, basement level, um, or like sort of above ground basement level, I guess, has a room that would would accommodate two children, and then another room that would accommodate two toddlers, and then a third sort of just general um, adult or teen sim room, which is the one with the bookcase headboard. And I decided to put a second bathroom on this level. There's a bathroom just off the gym, which I built the gym where I would, where kind of like what would be the garage in this house because of there's sort of like a faux garage door. And so I built, uh, you know, as you can see off to the left there, a little bathroom just off of the, you know, the gym because of course you want your sims to be able to, you know, shower quickly after a workout. If you heard a little weirdness in my voice just then, it's because I had to pause to cough. So I'm not 100% over this cold yet, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm confident that I'm getting there. Anyway, this is the kids room that I'm putting together now. And I tried to keep this pretty cute. Of course, I did kind of an orange theme in both the toddler room and the kids room because again, those are just sort of you know, spicy colors. Um, orange is actually not my favorite color in the world at all. 
Um, I I would I don't I don't know if it's my least favorite color, but it's up there. Sorry for all the orange lovers out there. It's just not my favorite. I don't hate it, but you know, yeah, it's not my favorite. But I I like it within the context of this build, and I tried to keep it, you know, try to keep it cute and very autumny and spicy, and yeah. So oh yeah, so this is the upstairs landing area or the seating area that I was talking about. I guess I had more of it in there than I realized I did. <clears throat> yeah, that little balcony makes a really nice place for the Sims to kind of go and sit outside and and watch the, the passers-by pass by. <laughs> and um, yeah, so okay, so then we have the upstairs bedroom, which has, and by the way, the the lot download will be on her channel because obviously I built the first part and then she took over and built the second part of the lot. So if you're interested in downloading this, you will have to go over to her channel for her download link um, because she will be the one that will be uploading this to the gallery. But, um, eh, I forgot what I was saying. Anyway. Is this wound up being a lot bigger than I really thought that it was going to, like in terms of how many bedrooms there are, because there are two bedrooms upstairs and a bath, and then there are three bedrooms on the first floor and two bathrooms. And then the, you know, of course the main floor is just all sort of mostly open concept with the living dining area in the same place and then the kitchen sectioned off and then there's of course the um like a like a chessboard <clears throat> on that level and an easel and you know just some other sort of decor items i figure that if you are built like um downloading the lot all as one then um, there would be spaces on the, the main floor where, you, I don't know, I haven't seen her side and what's on the interior of her side, but I imagine there will be somewhere that you could add in a door if you're interested in playing it as more as like one family instead of like as a duplex style. So there will be space for that, but um, you, will, you will have to kind of probably shuffle some things around. I don't know though. I'm really excited to see her half. I think it's going to be really cool and I want to see how the sugar part uh, came out. But we are going to be heading to the screenshots very soon and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for participating in the giveaway. Like I said, keep an eye out. That's definitely something I want to continue to do. I really enjoy. I like, I like, uh, I like giving stuff away. <laughs> I'm, I'm always, like, uh, you know, I throw surprise parties, and I, you know, I'll give you so, throw in surprise giveaways and stuff, and you guys will be surprised, right? <laughs> of course you will. Okay. <laughs> I'm not salty. Okay. But yeah, thanks guys so much for your watching and your support. It really means a lot to me. And if you enjoyed this video, of course, please don't forget to leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, why don't you? And come back the next time I build a thing. Or do a thing. How's that sound? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to do the music now. Thanks guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.